Hi, my name is Al Cadulo. I'm a 3D filmmaker, lecturer, and consultant. Grass Valley has asked me to tell you what I like about EDIUS 6.5. What do I like about EDIUS 6.5? Well, the first thing has to be the speed. I consider that a top priority. Let's face it, in this business, what I really offer is my knowledge, my ability, and how quickly I can produce quality results. And let's face it, we only have so many hours in the day. So in the end, if I can work faster, then I can produce more. And EDIUS works fast. From opening big projects, to auto-adjusting 3D stereo, and the new video stabilizer. EDIUS is lightning fast. Second most important to me is 3D workflow. 3D is growing and evolving. Everything from new cameras to new codecs. And it wasn't that long ago that there was no established 3D workflow. Now, EDIUS has provided the tools to create a fast, efficient 3D workflow with all the controls that I need to create beautifully finished 3D projects. Getting the footage from the camera to the computer is also crucial. And EDIUS has any number of ways that you can go ahead and do it. Every one of them is fast and easy. You can hook the camera directly to the, to the computer and you can download simply by using the source browser. One click and you can import it both into the bin and transfer it onto your hard drive. You can also use Windows Explorer and just simply drag and drop. It's faster than anything else I've ever used. The first step in the process after importing your clips is to create stereo pairs. Now before EDIUS 6.5, that process used to take a long time. Now, I can bring everything into the same folder, I can select all the clips, then go ahead and click Auto Pairing, and bang, there they are. They're done, they're matched, and ready to go. Adjusting the stereo is the next most important thing. Even with the best 3D camera, you're going to have deviation. The stereo adjuster in EDIUS 6.5 provides all the manual controls you could ever want. Plus, the automatic mode accurately snaps all the parameters into place so fast that if you blink too long, you'll miss it. The precise sub-pixel adjustments can take all the human error factor out of the equation and lets me concentrate on just making good 3D. Keyframing is the art of making adjustments during a clip, and it's essential to 3D editing. Not only the ability to shift the effects, but the stereo adjustments and the filters. With EDIA 6.5, keyframing is as easy as clicking the box to turn it on, and then moving along the timeline and making your adjustments. It's all automatic. Another important feature is the 3D color correction and masking. It's the fine tuning that goes on after the basic edit is finished. It's here that you can look and try and finish off the project. When shooting in 3D, it's best to shoot a little bit flat without too much contrast. 3D filters and effects. There are so many 3D filters and effects built into EDIA 6.5. 8-bit and 10-bit, uh, GPU accelerated, 3D transitions, audio crossovers and fades, the ability to blend and combine filters in any number of ways. And if you wind up needing to use the same customized filter or effect more than once, you can simply create a custom user preset. Shake Stabilizer has to be one of my favorite effects. When you're out in the field shooting documentaries, there are many times that the shots are created on the fly. And the end result may be spectacular, but don't always start out that way. Sometimes there's some shake that's beyond your control. With EDIA 6.5, you've got the best built-in stabilizer and rolling shutter correction that I've ever seen. No more crying over shots that you say could have been great if it was only steadier. Now you can fix it and make it truly spectacular. EDIA 6.5 has the unparalleled capacity of up to 16 tracks of multi-cam editing. 
Now, personally, I've never done more than a five camera 3D shoot, but it's nice to know that it's there. The key elements of multicam are syncing cameras to timecode, single or dual view modes, and the most important final step, compressing it all to a single track so your outputting is easy. Multi-format and resolution. Maybe it's saving the best for last, but EDIUS has always led the way with being able to edit anything that you throw at it. In, with 3D, I often shoot with different cameras and sometimes I get 3D footage shot in completely different formats and resolution. I might end up mixing 19x20 AVC HD in PAL 24P, P2 footage shot in NTSC at 60i, with GoPro Hero footage shot at 720-60p. Eddie's blends these all together seamlessly on the timeline and gives me smooth, real-time playback with just the click of a button. It outputs to my 3D TV with no special graphics cards, and that makes my life all that much easier. I absolutely think that EDIA 6.5 is the right NLE for any 3D project. Even 4K projects work great in proxy mode. 